Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Jordan Trask here, and I am on, believe it or not, the 18th day of my 25 days of Christmas. And it's been uh, quite the month, just like I've said before. And I just want to let you guys know, all of you that have been tuning in, and all of you that support me throughout my journey with Prefocus, I really appreciate you. It means a lot. And, you know, whether you think your support or your viewership means anything to me, it's not a sales pitch. I really, I really want to help you. So 18 days, I've done 17 strategies so far. Really, we're focused on the holiday season. What can you do? What message can you say? What type of ideation can you follow that helps people, that, that drives, uh, not sales, but drives recognition, drives value, that drives um, support, I guess would be another good word, during the holiday season that can carry over throughout the rest of the year. And, and I just wanted to let you guys know today that I drew another random uh, industry, which is uh, a pizza shop. I guess, would you call that a shop? Pizza place, pizza company, pizza delivery. And we're going to just, like always, assume this is a is a small, not a small, but a, a mom and pop operation, regionally located, possibly, you know, in a, in, in a city, maybe even a sub city that's really good, really high quality, potentially getting ready to scale. But we're not focusing necessarily on the Pizza Hut's, no Romans, Papa John's, places like that. Quite, quite yet, at least for me. Uh, you know, we wanna, what I'm really trying to do is, is create a message um, that derives from the brand identity for a business. And that's really what I help you do in a nutshell. And then we can get creative down the road. So we're gonna assume this company's still kind of finding themselves, uh, maybe heading into the holiday season, had some nice momentum in 2020, as you can imagine, with deliveries going up, people wanting to eat at home, not wanting to go out to eat anymore. Uh, maybe getting a little bit more lazy. I don't know. Maybe they don't have any any work to do. Anyways, um, but I'm I'm gonna assume that pizza delivery, pizza in general, skyrocketed just over the last year and a half. Me personally, I can't eat pizza the way I used to. I used to love pizza rolls. I used to honestly love going to Pizza Hut buffet after you know high school football practice or something, and just hanging out with the guys. But not anymore. I can't eat that stuff anymore. But if I was running a pizza joint. What I would try to focus on is just saying hello, right? Just getting people's attention, just like always. And when it comes to the holiday season, there's not really much opportunity, in my opinion. People want pizza or they don't. And when you're making that decision, you're looking for a deal, you're looking for a special. If you got a lot of people over, right, you want to get 10, 20 pizzas, you're going to probably go with the best deal. You're not going to necessarily go with your favorite place unless, you know, you want to impress somebody or... Uh, you know, maybe you really just care about, uh, you know, having a really, really good pizza. People are in town, you want to show off someplace, then, uh, you know, a certain brand or a certain taste or a certain recipe, right, is going to maybe speak louder. Maybe not, though. Most cases, it doesn't. So when it comes to saying, man, it's Christmas, I'm a pizza place, uh, I'm going to really attack it during the holiday season from Thanksgiving all the way to New Year. And I would, I would go ahead and assume, and I'm sure most people out there that are even running pizza places can go ahead and assume that that's probably not something that you will be wanting to do uh, besides running deals, which, you know, my opinion on deals uh, kind of makes you seem cheap. So if you're, if you're lowering the price to get people in the door, I think that's risky. Uh, you're, you're not only taking a stab at, I don't want to take a stab, uh, you know, chopping out a little bit of the value, right, by saying, hey, our pizzas is a little bit cheaper than theirs and and like everybody else we're gonna cut some corners to make sure it's a little bit cheaper so we don't lose money because um, we don't really care about your loyalty we just mo mostly care about profits <laughs> and that's just the way uh, our country is these days uh, but we don't want to do that right long story short we want to we want to do something powerful uh, uh, influential right or, or something that just as is grabs somebody's attention it, and it uh, allows them to latch onto a brand and remember it. So what I'm thinking, you know, Christmas pizza, Christmas pizza, and I'm sitting here just like, you know, what do you do with that? You know, how, how do you try to sell this or even position this, me being a strategist myself, to try to get maybe a pizza place's attention, right? You know, I, I'm not trying to just do something in general to drive sales or drive awareness, like I always say, or just drive traffic into the store or increase orders. We're trying to uh, establish and uh, establish the brand and then sustain it over time. And that's a lot harder for for, your, for um, most any type of business to do than, than you think. Um, a lot of, even if you're a great guy, great gal, people don't know you. You can't just assume that they're gonna know that 
digest that and adopt it. You know, one movement, one nonverbal, one bad commercial can rub a whole group of people the wrong way before they even know you. So anyways, I just want to say these things as I'm really, I'm kind of buying time, I guess, uh, to try to, to break this down, outline a strategy that could, that people could say, man, I want to eat there. I want to try that. Maybe not during the holidays. Um, you know, when there's a lot of good food, right? People making food, people home, people helping with food, people baking, all that stuff. It's, it's not as a, a viable, viable. It's not as a, a popular time to order pizza. At least that's what I would assume, right? So I'm, I haven't done any market research. I don't know anything. So if you are a pizza place looking for a new strategy, don't judge me on my initial video here. I'm just thinking, I'm just spitballing. Uh, so anyways, when I just talking about pizza, 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 Christmas, holidays, I, I just, like you can't, can't help but think of movies. <clears throat> Not just the fact that you order a pizza, right, to watch a movie, which is a is a, a relevant concept anyways, but there's a lot of Christmas movies that involve pizza when you think about it. And I would say uh, the three that initially come to mind, um, Home Alone, right, where you have the guy, uh, the pizza guy that delivers the pizza and he's playing, you know, the filthy animal video with, with the machine gun. Um, uh, what was the other one I was thinking of? Um, anyway, it'll come to me. But my point is I'm thinking of movies. Oh, the, the Christmas Vacation, the Griswolds, stuff like that. Those are the type of movies, you know, Snow Day, where, uh, you know, you got to order pizza. There's all, in, in, in Home Alone, if you actually watch the movies, I'm pretty sure there's a pizza guy in, in every movie, which is interesting. So there's little plug and plays for pizza in, in Christmas movies all the time. And so that's what I initially thought of. If you have another idea or something pops into mind, I'd love to hear your, your comments, your two cents. But for me, I'm thinking, man, movie movie night, movie night, all this is what I'm tying everything around to because at the end of the day, most people are cooking. And at least I am. I love to cook. My family loves to cook. When my family comes in town, I love when my mom cooks. I can't think of a time where uh, we would eat out. And if we do, we order pizza and watch a movie, right? It's family time. Uh, so... How do, you, how do you make a commercial out of this, right? Um, so I'm sitting here thinking, uh, we wanna try to tie all this together. Maybe there's this family that has everybody in town for the holidays, you know, I don't know how you can conceptualize or summarize this in 30, 60 seconds, right? But if you can, if you were to have the time, try to conceptualize the fact that this family has worked really hard to have everybody at their house. If you've hosted during the holidays, you know it's stressful, not because it's overwhelming because of the amount of people, but but because of the uh, planning, uh, preparing, making sure people have enough beds. Uh, man, that just made me think of a whole other strategy. But uh, where people might sleep, right? Just just hosting in general, making sure that people are comfortable, making sure that people have stuff to do, making sure that you found things to do, uh, activities to enjoy. It's your ho you're the host of your city, right? And so if somebody's coming in town and they don't know what to do. Um, it's your job, I guess, to entertain them or to love them, right? And to show them a good time or make sure that, you know, they don't regret coming to your house for the holiday season. And, you know, with a lot of the conversations that go on around now at dinner tables, I'm sure that that's a common theme. So, you know, you want to you wanna do a good job. Anyways, we try to conceptualize this in a commercial as fast as we can, maybe four or five seconds that this family's really done a lot to put together this, this gathering. And everybody's coming in town and it's great and you know you have the weird cousins or aunts and uncles or whatever that that you know come in and you have the awkward moments right and i know my wife talked to me about uh before thanksgiving this year you know you don't want to force your kids to give people hugs but all all parents do that you know go give your uncle a hug go give your grandpa a kiss and then the kids like i don't want to um the same thing with santa you force your kids to go up there with santa i think that's my wife struck a chord there with me uh I thought that was that was genius. No, son, you don't have to go give her a hug. It's okay. You know, I understand. <laughs> Anyways, you have all these awkward moments. It's the holidays, but it's it's beautiful, right? It's it's full of joy. It's uh, it's full of bombardment. But that's what everybody loves about the holiday season. And we'll just we'll just say everything goes wrong, right? Let's just summarize this. I think if if. Somebody were to do this commercial, obviously I'd do a lot better job breaking this down, but we're almost at 10 minutes. So what I would have, you know, break that down, have everybody come in the door, everybody's situated and stuff. Dinner is going really well. You know, let's just assume dinner gets destroyed. Somehow 
one way or the other, let's talk about the Griswolds. Let's talk about some of the other movies where the, the turkey is just really bad, or maybe you tried to smoke it, or maybe you tried to uh, uh, boil it. I don't know if people boil it, but uh, uh, fry it. I had a guy one year that we went over to their house. They fried it. It was pretty good, but what if you screwed it up, right? What are you going to do? The stores are closed, especially now. Inflation's up. So, I mean, all these things you can tie in that's relevant to where, man, we can't do anything. What are we going to do? The dinner goes wrong, right? <laughs> and I think there's just, I mean, just that and just keeping it simple right there, there's just a simple creative strategy that could be extremely engaging uh, and hilarious, right? Uh, just depending on the actors you have, the script itself and the way you direct it, I think it could be funny in itself. And every most everybody knows the uh, Christmas vacation in that story. And so tying some element of that to create the assembly, I think would be really cool, make, make people laugh a little bit more, or pull that movie up and say, oh, you haven't seen that movie? And it creates dialogue within the home, right? That That's another ex good example, commercial that elicits conversation after the commercial is over. That That's the type of stuff that you wanna focus on. If you work with me, those are the things I, I teach you and help you understand, not only so that you, know, you implement it throughout all your campaigns and stuff that you do, but that what we're working on is effective, right? So, um, you know, we'll have that go wrong. You know, maybe there's a squirrel in the Christmas tree, right? Uh, uh, you know, I, maybe the people didn't bring desserts or maybe somebody's arguing. It's just all these things that happen. It's just like, dang, this sucks. Like, and it's not even my fault. We put all this stuff together and maybe you have the hosts that are sitting there just like, what a disaster. But they kind of have that piece and maybe you have the father or grandpa or mom. It doesn't have to be a guy, I guess, a leader that steps up and says, you know what? This is getting out of hand, or I noticed this is kind of going south. Let me get it. Let me just get a pizza. Hey, hey, Dave, let it go. Chris, Chris Kringle, let, let me just get a pizza, man. I got this. And you have that guy that orders a pizza, comes in, and the whole the whole evening changes. Uh, you maybe have a couple perspectives of people that they're uncomfortable, or maybe they're angry, or they're just not enjoying themselves. And the tide turns when that pizza is delivered, and they're in, sitting there maybe watching, you know. The Christmas movie where the boy shoots his eye out or something. And you have all these different types of movies, right? Because pizza in a movie, that's what you really think of. And, and the more movie scenes that you can have that people remember throughout the movie, even little pieces, a compilation, I think that would be funny. Um, and then, uh, you know, like I said before, Home Alone is the initial one that I thought of with pizza with the guy, the filthy animal. And it might even be funny to have the pizza guy, maybe they're watching the movie, right? Maybe they're watching Home Alone when he arrives. And that scene's on, and and the pizza guy's like, wait a second. And he doesn't fall for it necessarily like the Home Alone movie, but it like really catches him off guard. Maybe he goes to the back door or something. Maybe he looks in the window kind of like, is this really happening? And everybody's inside laughing, right? And maybe he sets sets the pizza down because he's, he's not scared, but he's just kind of confused, and he doesn't want to take the risk of maybe ringing the doorbell. And and they they slide the money out through the the mail, the mail slit or whatever you call it and i think that would be funny maybe see a little boy sitting outside as as he's leaving kind of like really weirded out the pizza pizza guy i mean have him leave and see a little boy sitting out there building a snowman maybe have that's the scene where he's got his little red rifle and he pops himself in the eye and he's like oh little boy are you okay and then he runs inside like he's scared of the guy and and the pizza delivery guy is just kind of like what the heck boom pizza Pizza place, pizza shop, pizza joint, whatever it's called, right there, there's the logo. Enjoy your Christmas with us. You know, keep the change, you filthy animal. Run that right at the end. And I think that would be hilarious. I think everybody would get it. There is not really a target audience that you're focusing on. There's not some cheesy message or some trend that's going on during Christmas that you can relate to, that you're trying to pander to, right? And try to get their business. It's, it's legitimately family time. Even people that don't have family time during the holidays, I don't think that would offend them, right? These are the things we want to run through before we publish or even get into production uh, with, with script writing and stuff or doing a shot list or writing out the scenes because you want to understand how this might make uh, the audience feel at the end of the day. It's not, it's, you know, we got to understand what their wants and needs are, what people really want, that surface level. But, but when you get into the hidden wants and needs, what they want that they don't know, which I talked in one of my videos, I forget. And then uh, the subconscious traits or characteristics that people have that can be triggered by seeing certain things or certain events. And it's all psychological things uh, that could come down to the neurological elements of video, right? And we want to 
that goes from everything from the beat of the movie, the pace of the movie, the the and not the beat meaning the sound, meaning the the up is it upbeat, you know, the, the aura of the video, and then uh, the the music and the interaction and the people, right? The type of people, the nonverbals, all these things. People digest this stuff. People understand this stuff, and it and it helps them garner an understanding of not only what the commercial means, but but the brand or business itself. Anyways, so. Um, you know, this, that would be, I think, you know, even, even if you weren't, uh, even if you are a pizza shop and you don't want to do a commercial during the holiday season, as you can see, I think there's always a way to make it work. There's always a way to take advantage of opportunity. And if you have, have a quality product or, you know, you really care about what you do or your culture is solid, um, or your experiences is legit, right? Um, you're always going to have something to promote, um. You just need somebody to help you tie it all together and make sure that the stuff that you're saying isn't reaching and grabbing, uh, it's speaking and understanding. So without going into a whole workshop here, we're at 16 minutes. And I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. If you guys do watch to share it with somebody that, if, if you know somebody that owns a pizza shop, uh, or just tell them, right? You know, let, let it be your idea. I don't even care. Um, at the end of the day, I'm here to help you. And I love the holiday season. It's about giving. So be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember to pre-focus.